Hi, Dyslexic Genius here. I'm back on the Victor 3 back bracket. Now I'm going to show you how to assemble it. I've cleaned and polished everything. On the nickel, we have this silver look. If you see your machine looks like this, you want to polish very carefully with like flits or something finer. Because as soon as you start rubbing, this one already had it. I had cleaned this first with Windex. And you can see the flaking of the nickel right here. The nickel is totally shot. The customer didn't want re-nickel work. It even, the nickel had already worn off the end of the yoke. This piece here screws in here. So how do we assemble this? We have this little indention here, and we have the special Victor set screw that goes here. We're going to line that indention to that hole, so you'll just, no oil is required. You slide this in, then it comes out. The other end, you push this in, and you can see in the hole where it gets shiny, and then we pull back right there. Okay, you see that? Now we're going to put a wee bit of oil on the set screw, try not to lose it. because we always oil all the screws. And then this is the super duper tiny, tiny set screw that has a nickel plated end. I almost had it. Gets harder when you have one eye. Oh, it is. It's This is when the magnetic screwdrivers work. I, you know, I think this is because we're filming and I can't do it. I mean, it's like, okay, this happens to me a lot. There we go. And these things are special to the stone arm. Gonna lock it down. You see how it indents in here? You see how it recesses in? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna back that off about that much. And you can see that this wiggles. Okay, we know we're in there now. We will lock that down. Just snug. Now what we're going to do is because this flat part, we have this piece fits up into the tone, the back bracket, and this flat part runs on the bottom of it. What, what we're talking about is the pin comes through here, and then the bottom flat part fits in here. So we're just going to put a little bit of green grease on there, just a dab. Put some in here like that. I'm going to put a little bit on there like that. doesn't take a lot. Now you're going to insert the spring. And now because this piece runs on this piece like this, we're just going to give that a little bit of green grease also. Now, does it matter which way that goes it, in? Yes. The rear end goes in first. What? This is the rear end, the, the flat, flat side. side. We're going to shove that in here like that. We're going to take our finger. We're going to pull down tight. We're going to rotate that up. And that fit in. There we go. So you have to hit the pin here. You see we have this. Oh, look at this. So much smoother now. Right? And now you just bolt this back on the machine. That's all there is to it. But the hard part is the pin that's in here, this piece, and because the spring is good, this has a good spring in it, you have to hold this down, then you get the top pin 
You get the top piece in, and then you hit the bottom piece. And that's all there is to it. All goes back together normally. You throw the yoke on, tighten it up. You want to make sure that you put a little oil on these threads, and you put just a wee bit of sewing machine oil on the yoke, wiping this, because you can see the wear marks here and here. And this constantly is doing this, so you want to get a little oil around there and a little oil around there. And that's my tip for the day.